Oh my gosh, what beautiful sight. Royal Artillery Depot in gleaming white stones. A Union Jack with blue sky behind. It is making me proud to be British. <laughs> God is in his heaven and all is right with world. What the hell is going on? Move his head, move his head, move his head! Not you, not you! Sam probably to attend your side still! You. What do you think you're doing, lovely boys? <laughs> Standing around here drinking tea? Well, you see. Yeah! <laughs> Why aren't you whitening them stones? Well, we'd almost finished, Sergeant Major, so we thought we'd take a short break. Well, it's very hot, Sergeant Major. It's very hot, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Especially for the time they use you. You'd be a ruddy side order by the time I finish with you. Tend that ice! Then show! Tender ice! Then show! Tender ice! Then show! Tender ice! Then show! Tender ice! Stand easy. That's better. Right, lovely boys. Let's have a look at your handiwork. Ooh. Ooh. Very good, fair play. They're very artistic. Wait a minute. Can I Graham? Sir? Come here. Sergeant Major? University education. Yes. Yes, that's quite right, Sergeant Major. How do you spell artillery? <laughs> A-R-T-I-L-L-E-R-Y. You don't. You spell it A-R-T-I-L-L-E-R-Y-R-E. <laughs> it's not artillery. It's artillery. Ari-Ari. And you spell Ari A-R-Y. I've been in this regiment 22 years, and I ought to know. Well, you probably haven't seen it written out in full very often, Sergeant Major. Uh, well, it's usually just the initials, R.A. You trying to make out I'm ignorant, lovely boy? No, Stop! Sir. Oh, my is up! He must be right, because he is a highly educated man, and he has been to Oxford, Cambridge, and God knows where. <laughs> <laughs> Only Oxford, actually. Stop! <laughs> now change that E to an A. But it's right, Sergeant Major, I promise you. Honestly. I think perhaps it should have only one L, Sergeant Major Sam. <laughs> How the ruddy L would you know? But he's also not lacking in learning. He goes to night school two afternoons a week. A R T I L L E R Y. Yes, Sergeant who pulled you a wire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what funny joke. Ask Igbo Pankawala who pulled his wire. Shut up! <laughs> I'll settle this matter once and for all. <laughs> Keep piking and sit up straight. Ah, be conqueror. One chutty karadega. And sit up straight when you're bunkering. <laughs> and don't be such clever dicky. <laughs> What do you want, Bearer? Sir Major, sir, I must ask you something of great discreetfulness. I have here one photograph, and it is very odd and strange. It is of one woman's half, and I do not understand it, and I want your honor to explain it to me because I am very puzzled by it. How dare you? Depot orders clearly state that camp personnel will not deal in obscure photographs. Oh, now get out of the way. Out of the way! Right, Mr. Lardy Dog and Graham, moment of truth. Let me see. Art, art. Uh, can I help you, Sergeant? No, you can't. Here it is. Artillery. A R T I W L E. <laughs> Must be a misprint. Oh. <laughs> Permit me, Sergeant Major Sapp. <coughs> Oxford English Dictionary printed in India by Lahore Press. What do you expect? Printed by a lot of tarts. Oh, Shut up! I don't want any more arguments. And it's that down! Come here. Yes, Sergeant Major. 
What are you on, Boyle? I'm rehearsing, Sergeant Major. No, you're not my answer. You're whitening stones. Now pick up a brush and get on with it. And the rest of you. So we've already given him one coat of whitewash, Sergeant Major. We'll give him another coat then. And then another coat. I want them stones so white I dare not look at them because they will dazzle my eyes! <laughs> Carry on! <laughs>